Hey guys, thank you for joining me on this webinar today. I'm Jackie Kravitz with Sales X Training, and this is the Millionaire Mindset for 2021. I'm going to share nine points with you that when you apply them, when you implement them, you will have the millionaire mindset for 2021 and for the rest of your real estate career because mindset is everything. So I want to start by giving you a definition of mindset. By the way, this video will be on YouTube shortly. And if you are watching this on YouTube, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like and comment on the video. So here's the definition of mindset. It is a habitual mental pattern that determines how you interpret and respond to situations. What I love about this definition is it's a habitual mental pattern. Unfortunately, most human beings, real estate agents included, because we're human beings, we have very negative habitual mental patterns. And when you want to achieve extraordinary results in your real estate business, obviously you have to change these negative habitual mental patterns. And the great news is habits can be changed. Here's point number one. Real estate is a mind game. Life is a mind game. To dominate your real estate business, because this channel is about domination. We're not here to help you sell 10 homes a year. That You don't need any help to do that, right? You could do that just by sitting around and waiting. To dominate your real estate business, you have to dominate your mind. They, they go hand in hand. It's not going to happen without you being able to control your mind. And you will never dominate your mind by only doing the things that you are comfortable doing. Make sure you write all this down. Mind domination, which is going to lead to your business, domination of your real estate business, requires for you to fall in love with discomfort. It's great that that was point number one, because I know you're going to hear some things that you're like, I don't want to do that. That's not uncomfortable. Oh, I don't like that. Hello. How do you ever expect to make millions of dollars in real estate without doing things that you're uncomfortable doing? Point number two, Changing your habitual mental patterns from negative to positive is the only way to consistently take more listings, make more money, have more free time, be healthier, be happier, have better relationships, relationships and have more joy and more peace in your life. There is no other way around it. So even though this is the millionaire mindset for 2021 for real estate agents, this mindset shift and change and controlling what's going on in your head is going to make your life better in every aspect of it. All of it is going to get better, not only your real estate business. Now, when I say there's no other way around it, I want you to think about the fact that I don't know if other businesses are like real estate in that it seems like every day there's something new that you can do to make money. There's somebody offering you a new service, a new product, or a new way for you to start making money immediately without having to do anything. Does that even make sense? I mean, are you are, are real estate agents so gullible that, you know, our industry is always bombarding real estate agents with the magic answer. We finally found it. Listen, it doesn't exist. And if you're not able to control what's going on in your head, how are you going to be able to control your business and control your life? It just doesn't happen. 
So your ability to control and direct your thoughts is the, listen carefully, the number one factor in your success, period. Nothing else matters more than the conversation we're having right now. Here's point number three. Oh, yeah, hold on. This is important before we go to point number three. Who controls what you think? That's an interesting question. It's not easy to control your mind, control the habitual mental patterns. These habitual, negative habitual mental patterns have huge momentum because however old you are, you've spent your entire life basically being bombarded with negative stuff, different types of programming, society, your family, whatever. It has a lot of momentum. But the truth is, you control what you think. You're the only thinker in your mind. So you can do this. Because if you're not in control of your thoughts, then who is? You can't control the real estate market, the economy, interest rates, what other agents are doing, what other what the what your broker is doing. You, you have no control over what's going on out there. But what's going on in here? A hundred percent your control. Point number three. What is mental toughness? And I'm gonna read, I'm gonna actually read two definitions for you. I looked this up, you know, I did some research and I love this thought of becoming mentally tough. I mean, this is going to change, like I said, every aspect of your life. So mental toughness is having an edge that enables you to, cons to be consistent, confident, focused, and determined during high pressure situations in order to perform at your maximum potential. I love this so much. Here's another one. Mental toughness is the ability to overcome the fears, worries, and doubts that prevent you from succeeding and achieving your goals. Let's talk about this for a little bit. We all have some fears. We all have doubts. We're all human beings. Um, I don't know if any human being is immune to fear and doubt. Maybe one or two enlightened beings on this planet. I mean, most of us, we're going to have fear, doubt. We're going to have some negative thoughts. Mental toughness is not letting the fear and doubt dictate your actions because you're in control. And remember, the best way to overcome fear is do what you fear and do it a lot. That is the best way. And to be honest, I think it's the only way because think about if you stop for a minute right now, you close your eyes and just think about something that you fear and just keep thinking about it and thinking about it and thinking about it. And you talk to other people about it. And you keep thinking about it, thinking about it. What happens with the fear? It becomes magnified. It becomes bigger, greater, because that's just how the mind works. The mind, it's called confirmation bias. The mind is always looking for confirmation of what it is you are thinking. So you have a thought and the mind's like, you know, I should be afraid of that because this happened, that happened. Somebody told me that happened. And and this and that, blah, blah, blah. it's just looking for evidence to confirm what's going on in your head. So you got to be able to switch that. Tony Robbins, this is a great quote. He says, it's not what we do once in a while that shapes our lives. It's what we do consistently. So the habitual mental pattern, you got to just snap out of the default negative mode that human beings live in in order to master your business. 
in essence, what I'm talking to you about here is you have to reprogram your mind. And how you reprogram your mind is through repetition, repetition, repetition. Because to, like Tony Robbins says, it's not what you do once in a while that change, shapes your life. It's what you do consistently. So what are you thinking about consistently? Because what you think about is going to determine whether you take action or not and the results you get when you do take action. And here's point number four. What you put in comes out. So when you think about being mentally tough, being mentally empowered, how is that gonna how is that gonna show up in your business and your life? Meaning you, you want it to come out, you want it to be who you are. Well, for it to come out, you gotta make sure that you're putting in great, powerful, positive, motivational, inspirational ideas in your mind all day long. Because if you just allow negative stuff in your mind, guess what? Negative stuff is gonna come out. It's like the um the question of how does that magician puts, pulls a rabbit out of a hat? He has to put the rabbit in the hat first because if he doesn't put the, habit in, the rabbit in there, it's not going to come out. He won't be able to pull it out. Same exact thing with your mind. So what I say to my clients, and I say this all the time, you have to bombard your brain with powerful, positive, motivational, inspirational ideas 24-7. Done. Bombard your brain. What are you listening to? What are you listening to? What are you reading? Are you watching television? What is it that you're watching? And here's a big one. Who are you spending time with? You got to check all of that. Is it positive or is it negative? You got to make a conscious choice as to what you're going to allow in your mind. It is your mind. There's absolutely nothing that you got to protect more than your mind because mindset is everything. And whatever you put in comes out. And if you're allowing negative stuff and people throwing garbage at you, guess what? Garbage in, garbage out. Point number five. Earl Nightingale's quote, you become what you think about most of the time. It's not only a quote, uh, The Strangest Secret, a book by Earl Nightingale. The strangest secret is you become what you think about most of the time. Again, it's not what you do once in a while. It's not like having a negative thought once in a while. It's like, what is it that you're thinking about most of the time. I recommend that you write down five positive affirmations. Present tense. Affirmations are always I am. Always present tense. And repeat them to yourself three to four hundred times every day. Oh my gosh, three to 400 times, that's a lot. How am I going to do that? Well, when you have a certain fear, doubt, or a negative thought that's just, you know, keep coming back, coming back, we tend to think about negative stuff, obsess with it, and think about it three to 400 times a day. You got to check it out. So you got to be able to shift this, decide on five powerful positive affirmation and repetition 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 point number six set an alarm on your phone every hour on the hour from 8 a.m until 8 p.m and take one minute every hour on the hour when this alarm goes off on your phone close your eyes and just relax. Focus on your breathing for one minute, just one minute, every hour on the hour. It's gonna help you tremendously. It's gonna help 
quiet this i call him my roommate you know this negative there's there's a person speaking in my head there's a person speaking in the heads in the minds of every human being i call him my roommate <laughs> it's from a book that i read that i love so i want you to think about this imagine you know this broken record blah 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 blah, blah just negative stuff negative this roommate's crazy Pretend that this is an actual person. Take it out of your head and put this person here. And imagine this is your roommate. This person lives with you. How long would you put up with a real person that lives with you and talks to you all day long the way that this voice in your head talks to you? you we got to be able to quiet that. Remember, we're talking... We're talking about the millionaire mindset. It requires you to take control of what's going on in your head. And this just one minute of breathing quiets the mind. It quiets your roommate. And it's a great exercise for us to, one of the many things we can do to develop this millionaire mindset. Here's point number seven. You have to control your environment empty your office completely and start from scratch all the stuff that's in your office that just causes a bunch of distractions that brings negativity and keeps it in get rid of it you have to create a space that is conducive to what you should be doing every day to grow your business and most real estate agents they work in an environment that holds them back instead of propelling you forward helping you keeping you inspired motivated it's the total opposite i walk into my office like ah i don't want to be here it's negative so you gotta clean it up and start over and create this powerful empowering space for you Point number eight, manage your fears. Fear of rejection, fear of failure, fear of success. You should have more fear of being broke than doing your job every day. Yeah. Um, <laughs> There's a quote I posted on my Facebook many years ago, but I love it. And it says, I rather be tired than broke. And when you think about the fears, you should have more fear of being broke because it's awful. Like, well, but money doesn't buy happiness. Money's not going to make me happy. Uh, money, it may not make you happy. If you're a miserable person, you're going to be miserable whether you're poor or whether you're wealthy. But I, I'm not miserable, but if I had to choose, I'd rather be miserable and wealthy than miserable and poor. So you've got to make a decision here. Fear of being rejected when you're prospecting and talking to people you don't know, like for real? I mean, is, this, is that even rejection? That's just a story you've made up about what happens because we're always making up a story. And most of the stories we make up don't empower us. So you got to be able to manage your fears. And there is no real success in real estate without rejection. You're in, you're in a sales business. I mean, how, how do you get somebody to say yes without getting a lot of no's in the process? It's impossible. There's no one, I don't know anyone, and I know some of the best real estate agents in the country. I don't know anyone that everyone they talk to says, yes, I'm doing business with you. It's impossible. And the better you become, the more skilled you become, the more mentally tough you become, the easier this is going to get. In the beginning, you're going to probably have to talk to hundreds of people to get a yes. And then as you keep getting stronger and stronger and better and better and better and better, the easier it becomes. But it will not become easier without you being resilient. 
it, it doesn't happen. It's impossible. Everything is hard before it's easy. Here's point number nine, last one. We're going to talk about pain. To do all the things that I've shared with you so far in this webinar, um, it's going to require you to make some changes. And change is painful. It's just the way it is. Maybe not. It's not physical pain, although <laughs> I'm thinking about this. You know, when your mind is just negative and you're, you, it creates anxiety, that anxiety creates physical pain. So we may actually be talking about physical pain. Change is painful. Accept that. How do you master anything, anything without change? Master anything that's new to you without change. It's impossible. It's not going to happen. So you got to embrace the discomfort because it is going to be uncomfortable in the beginning. Like I said, everything is hard before it's easy. And when it's hard, it's uncomfortable. But you're not going to grow unless you're not going to grow. You're not going to master a business. And you are not going to make millions in real estate if you don't embrace discomfort. And whatever this pain is, whether it's emotional, psychological, even physical, which is caused by the mental anguish that you bring upon yourself, you got to control what's going on up here. Mindset is everything. I said it a few times and that's how I want to end, reminding you that the single biggest, most important asset you have in your entire life and your real estate business is your mind. So make sure you go through these points and apply them. Do something about it because you listen to, oh, that sounds really great. Now what? If you don't do something about it, you're going to stay in the same exact spot. If you are watching this on YouTube, because it will be on YouTube shortly, make sure you like the video, comment below. Let me know if you have any questions. I answer all of the questions on the channel personally. Subscribe, and I will see you soon.